Alright, hi there. Uh, today, I'm gonna be finishing up on all this little mess, so that's cool. I just thought I'd do some cool quick cuts. Yeah, that works out. Here we go. Gluing up some PVC. I just got the handy pack of pipe cement, pipe glue, with the purple primer and the clear glue. Um, they've got one of the glue bottles that's, uh, this has got a red label and it's all purpose. Uh, that would have worked here fine, but this will too. So, this was cheaper, this was easier, this is what I got. So, um, always start with the purple primer. You really don't want to try to glue any of this without the primer. Um, the glue works fine without it, but it works so much better with the primer. Gonna have to get some pliers. All right, I got the glue open. <laughs> I've already glued together. Uh, I don't know about seven eighths of the project. I got uh, one, three more joints to glue, and then the hinge pieces. Um, actually wanted to show you the hinge pieces. I got these two. Uh, these are one inch coupler pieces, and I'm using three quarter inch pipe. What that means is that this will slip easily over the pipe loosely okay now I need that because these are the hinges the only part of this that's going to be attached to any part of the door or the frame is uh, the actual sidebars and they're going to actually be screwed directly through this into that okay um, so it's important that these be loose um, now I could have done like a regular smaller coupling like this on that and then just glued these two together and then cut that down and slip that on or trim that out and slip it on but uh... these were easy I just buy a bunch of them and then I have what I needed so I'm gonna glue these two together the same way you would normally glue the pipe so I don't know if you'll be able to see this clearly but when I when I put them together there's a sort of a, a bump out at the top of each end uh... just part of the forming process but Fortunately, that gets in my way. So, I'm just going to trim it a little. I may go ahead and just flatten portion. Yeah, this piece is going to actually slip on this, and it's going to sit up against the coupling here and the T-piece and those sitting in this joint is what's actually going to provide the holding for the door. That, that's that's what's going to do it. Now, I've never used this glue like this. I've never tried a, a butt joint. So I really have no idea how well this is going to work. Theoretically, it ought to work just as well as glue in a joint, but the less surface area could make this weak. Well, the primer is strong. The glue will knock you on your ass. All right. Let that cure and we'll have us a hinge. I'll do two of those and uh, put this thing together. Here we go. Yay! I finally got the pieces uh, shaped and fitted. So there's my doorway. And uh, I've been gluing and gluing and gluing. And there, friends, is the actual door on its side. The final piece to get glued in gets glued with the hinges and I think I'm going to attach it here to this with the hinge pieces prior to you know I, I'm going to take this off of here I'm going to finish the door put this into the hinge bars and then put the whole door up 
and then screw this into place. So like in one action the door will be done. And um, that will ensure that I get the spacing on these correct so that they're not like too, just a hair too close together or too far apart or something stupid like that because, well, that would really, really annoy me. But uh, uh, I think I may actually trim these just a hair more here so that this will actually push onto the bar a little further and then I can adjust where I want it in or out by sliding it, the whole thing, you know. Because the bottom will go anywhere. It doesn't matter where the bottom goes. But the top, you know, I'd, it'd have to be angled funny if I went anywhere. Being as how that's exactly what I want to try to avoid, I may just trim that a little more before I fit the door, but that's the next step. Fitting the door. That'll be fun. Because then I get to take all this plastic laying everywhere and pull it up, reseam it. It's, it's a complicated thing. Uh, but I'm going to make it happen. So, here we go. I also got a spring. A pretty typical screen door spring. Um, extension spring. Little loops on the end. I'm going to put a, I'm going to screw an eye bolt into uh, this bar somewhere. Uh, and then do the same thing over there at the door frame. And uh, this is going to keep the door shut. So that's pretty cool. Alright, here we are. Final piece all glued in place. Um, you can see here how this is supposed to work. This piece you see turns freely and even on the fitting still turns freely. This part will go through this part. This will go through here like this and then this part will be affixed to the side of the, the building. Okay, and then affixed to this, the, the hinge mechanism. So then the door will pivot on this point. And at this point over here, at this point, that's the reason this fitting is here. This little bitty piece of PVC inside there and this fitting, their whole purpose was to support this hinge. I also decided that rather than open it inward, uh, I'm still going to open it outwardly. And uh, I'm just going to take a tiller, and I'm going to till up most of the floor inside here, about two or three inches deep. I'm going to take a rake and level it all off, and um, tamp it back down so that it's a little more level. And it'll get rid of all these little plants that are in here too. It'll till them under. Um, I wonder if I remove this place, everything should grow back nicely because it's all been tilled. Uh, and right outside the door, here, all that will be tilled in a sort of a dip so that it will be a smooth ramp coming down and then back up to the door.